So you might have asked when it came to adding these query parameters with our posts, is there any cleaner way to pass through information instead of exposing this query parameter of a given name in the URL? Well, in fact, there is. With Next, we have the ability to use clean URLs without using any query parameters, but still down, pass down the information that are contained within the query parameters that we provide. This is especially useful in our case, where, for example, many blogs have a slug value, the title converted into a slug, and it would be more convenient to pass that as the URL rather than a query parameter. So if we head back to our blog, we take a look at our post link, we have the ability on link to set, to set an as attribute or an as prop. So we can specifically define whatever we want that end of the path to appear as. For example, for our React post, we could just have it be slash React dash post for an example slug value of our post. So if we go back to blog and click on React, we can see now our the end of our path is React dash post. So it gives us a cleaner URL, a cleaner path name. And of course, we don't want to have a hard coded value here. We'll pass through a slug prop to post link. And normally these would be automatically generated. So for example, say we have a title where it's an uppercase and there's a space between it, we would have the slug be react post, or in the case of angular, angular post. And for view, view post. So we have this slug prop, we want to pass it through to post link, where we set as to using template literals again forward slash slug so now if we test this out we go to our blog you can see for each of our posts we have our slug appearing in the URL with the help of clean URLs without query parameters one final note you might be getting this error in the future saying URL is deprecated in your terminal. And this is referring to our URL object that we're using to get the query params for our post. Now, the reason for this is that Next wants you to have full control over what's in your component, what you're using, and the URL property was automatically put into every page. So in order to, to fix this behavior so that you're able to decide whatever is on your props. You can now use a higher order component called with router from next router in order to get information about your URL. So in our post page, I'm just going to import with router from next slash router. And instead of using URL, the prop URL, we'll use now router and we can get query parameter information from router.query.title. And in order to actually have that router property put on the given page that we're working with, we're going to need to wrap our component that we're exporting with, with router. So that puts the router property, all the information on our post component. And if we head back to our blog, and we try to access each page, each post, you can still see that the title is passed down from the query parameter like we had before.